girls. Hi. Today, what we're gonna do is help you develop presence. And to help me do that is the beautiful and exquisite Irina Lazarenu supermodel. Today's challenge is trying to draw charisma out of all of the girls. Charisma and presence is important for a model because when they walk into a casting, they have a 30 second window to make an impression. We figure if you can sell us a burlap sack, you can sell us anything. What up? <laughs> Whether you're wearing a $20,000 couture gown or a burlap sack, you have to make us believe it. Just read that? Yep. Being Canada's next top model. Nikita has charisma, but her delivery was jumbled and awkward. Je ne sais quoi. As soon as she got to the mic, it was like a sleeping pill kicked in. Don't make it monotone, because it's boring as crap. Charles, Fred. Rick Worth. Let's say something different. We asked her to memorize a couple of the lines and deliver them in her, in her native language, and she came alive. As you say, it should be a designer of a very large company. Sigrid Argen. Megan didn't do so well, and her knowledge of the fashion industry was very disappointing. Chanel Dior. Uh... Action. Being Canada's next top model. My expectations of Heather were kind of low, but something washed over her today that completely changed my opinion of her. Make it a little deeper and project a little more. Saint Laurent, Lacroix, Gauthier, Hermes. I think she's the, you know, the full package. I wasn't really expecting much from Tara, and that's exactly what she delivered. Aesthetic design from Channel, Dior, Dali Giaga, Saint Laurent, Lacroix, Chanel. Chanel. I'm really sorry, guys. Her charisma, you know, and her knowledge of fashion were completely non-existent. She says she's an actress, but she was all over the place. Any fashion aesthetic designers from Chanel, Dwyer, Dyer, Dior, Dior. I'm Let's so go. sorry. She masks like her real personality with this over-the-top zany character. Steven Mizell! Yes! That is his name! <laughs> hey! I don't I don't believe it. I think it's just a cover-up for something else. I just so today's challenge was a lot to take in. Of everyone, Tara was, Tara, you were the least charismatic of, of the group. Don't get so hung up on the specifics, just deliver. But we do have a challenge winner today. Heather. Congratulations, Heather. You were really dynamic, engaging, and articulate. Your prize is waiting for you back at the loft. Okay. And we're hoping that you take everything you've learned today and bring it to the next judging, please. Now, of course, our judges who are dying to hear about all this charisma. First, highly sought after celebrity and fashion photographer, Mr. Mike Ruiz. I was gonna tell you guys, I hope you brought your charisma, but clearly you have. Uh-huh. <laughs> all right, Madam Nikita, let's take a look at your best Oh, yes. There's a connection with the camera that is undeniable with this shot. I'm not sure exactly what it is you're saying. You know what? I don't but, care what oh, she's saying. Exactly. I don't I'm care. Buying. I don't even but care today. I don't know what you're saying, but you're forcing me to believe it in this picture. Tara, you're next. If I was putting that hair and makeup, I'd be letting you have it. You know, you're just kind of hanging out. You got to embody the vibe and the idea and the energy. All right, Heather. See, I like it. It's ethereal in a way, like she's transcending her silence with yes. her eyes. All right, Lindsay. It's a beautiful shot, but it looks more like a catalog shot to me. All right, Megan. There's no question that this is like a breathtaking shot. And I think if you would have just done a little something a little more intense with your eyes, it would have sold the idea a little more. Aside from looking at these stunning photos, you need to think about how the girls presented themselves today. Tara. She could have taken this incredible hair and makeup and used it to elevate herself. She was completely victimized by this makeup. Rebecca. She's expressing the hair and the makeup appropriately. Miriam. Miriam conveyed the idea completely. Her body language has such strength in it, and you know, the intensity in her eyes. Lindsay. This is definitely a beautiful shot, but what makes it beautiful is the hair and the makeup and the styling. It's not Lindsay selling it to us, but we made our decision. We've got our very opinionated judges on hand, highly sought after celebrity and fashion photographer, Mr. Mike Ruiz. Hi, girls. There is not going to be an individual assessment. We are going to assess you girls in the pairs that you shot in. First up, Nikita and Rebecca. 
Rebecca, here's an example of where you're probably annoyed with this guy. But this is the ugly pretty, not I was the just pretty ugly. Say, yeah, this is not the pretty version of yeah. annoyed. <laughs> you know, but I do have to say your body position is a little more thoughtful, more elegant. Body position wise, this side of the image works better for me. Heather and Megan. Yeah, I love the flirty, pouty, you know, look you're giving the guy. Well, let's take a look at your best shot. Who do you see? You guys see Lindsay? Although my eye goes to Lindsay I with her head thrown with back. Head thrown back. <laughs> Completely believable. It's like a, you know, captured a real moment. Canada's next top model has to be able to step into the spotlight, own it, and represent. Rebecca. Rebecca did give some thought to, you know, her body language. I mean, there's some quality about her face that I, that I really like in this photograph. We can praise her acting skills all we want, but they're not translating into model skills. Lindsay. She lacks an awareness about her body and herself that she really should have stepped up by now. I like the way she's posing, you know? I mean, there's something contrasting with, like, the casualness of the rest of the shot. You know, she's very, like, elegant in the shot. Elegant? Since when did Hunchback of the No Dame come yeah. No, she's giving you that. That's she's not giving, Dior She's giving back. I'm sorry. She's, that's exactly what she's giving you. Now, our judges are raring to go. First, highly sought after celebrity and fashion photographer, Mr. Mike Ruiz. Welcome home, girls. <laughs> It's complete departure from the Megan that we see in front of us. It's um, quite an impressive transformation. You know, we can see how far you can go from one extreme to the other, which is a very important quality for a model to have. All right, Lindsay. This is geek chic that yeah. works. Well, yeah. you know what? And that's exactly that's, what I get from it. You know, that's like what we see. that kind of diva detachment. It's amazing to hear that that's what you were thinking and that it's so visible in this photograph. Are they viable models in the business? Nikita. I love her geeky alter ego that she's portraying in here. Lindsay. I had ruled Lindsay out, but after today, she changed my mind. I don't know what you're all talking about. This photo is gorgeous. She looks fierce, and I know a lot of it is hair and makeup, but that's the point. She's a model. I just feel that Heather fails to connect. I, I feel like crying looking at this picture, and it's the most beautiful effort. With that said, it's too much drama for me. It's too much. I want a girl who's just gonna walk in and like, hi, how are you? I had a fabulous day today, and I'm ready to work. Her book is beautiful. Do you like her book, yes or no? No. Do you like her book? I like her book. Do you like I'm her book? Like I'm a, a fan of Do you like her book? Come see, come see. I guess we made our decision. <laughs>